but uh, anyway, uh, 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 so I'm so a beautiful bomb. Yeah, we're still working on McGee. Sounds like you're underwater. There you go. You're at, we're still working on McGee. There we go. We went up to uh, Sully's place for a board meeting, and uh, I walked in the house and I said, "What's the matter with McGee out there?" He says, "Oh, he got a." got tangled up with a, uh, a porcupine but they all all the uh, all the uh, what do they call them quills. all the quills went right through and they didn't hit anything vital because a little while later uh, Soli was down at the funeral home and McGee was down there with him uh, McGee saw the cat across the alley from him he took off after the cat went to the house directly behind him, ran, ran uh, chasing that cat. The cat went in the house, front door was open, two-story house, went up the steps, cat went up the steps, McGee's right behind him, and the guy's working and he's sleeping during the daytime, he's working nights. The cat goes across the bed, McGee goes across the bed, out the window, the window was open, it's down, down there on the roof, and kill the cat. Kill the cat. That's a true story. That's a true story. <laughs> That's a true story. I know that. <laughs> the next time, the next time McGee comes around, and Soli looks out there, and here goes McGee. He hadn't been around for a few days, and there's a lady dri driving her vehicle and everything. McGee's sitting in the front seat in the passenger side. You know, he's just enjoying it. So. He just let him go. <laughs> McGee found a new home. <laughs> I don't think you knew about that, Gordon. You told me the story. Oh, okay. I remember. That's why I'm a historian. <laughs>